Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. Welcome to the second ever studio vlog. I am finishing up my one year doodle challenge book in this video and I'm taking you behind the scenes of me just trying to do it. The last one I did, I was finalizing it and that was more of the design I was finalizing and this one, for this time, I need to uh, finalize the whole book to send it to print. And that's what I'm going to do here. And you're going to see some behind the scenes kind of stuff. If you're new here, my usual videos are more DIY projects and art stuff. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, you will see more variety of videos, not just studio vlogs. And make sure you hit the bell, even if you are subscribed, hit that bell so you can be the first to get notified for when I post new videos, because I don't know if YouTube sends you notifications. So hit that bell. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, this is the one year doodle challenge book that I'm working on. This is just the cover. I talk a lot about it on my Patreon. I will put a link in the description below if you want to check out more information on what I've been doing with it. And yeah, I just really want to get it done. And I have patrons that need their books. I'm really anxious to get this to print so I can put it out in the world and make it available for sale for you guys. And I even want to doodle in it. So I'm just really ready to get this done. I've made test prints before on the pages, but this time I'm making the full book. I'm printing every page and just to get a feel for what it looks like in person outside of the computer and what the type looks like, if there's any mistakes. It's just an overall mock-up so I can go through it and make any edits that I need to. Of course, the one time when I, I'm actually printing the whole book, I run out of ink. I have every other color and I just need a black to finish printing this book. Of course, that always happens to me. There's one thing I've learned throughout this whole process of making your own book is that you have to kind of let go of perfection. I've made things for other clients and designed things and sent things out to print before, but when it's your own work, I think I'm just more like critical and I want things to be perfect, but that's not always a great thing to strive for because you just need to get stuff done sometimes. So big lesson I've learned from this is that done is better than perfect. In figuring out where to sell this thing, I'm leaning toward Amazon. I already have a seller account on Amazon, and so I think it might just be easier for everybody else, all my subscribers and viewers, to buy it there. And I think it might be easier on myself because they have a fulfillment option. So it'd be really great if I could have them just fulfill the orders, and then I can use that time toward 
making my videos for the channel and then I won't have to worry about the shipping stuff. I've sold used things on Amazon, but I've never sold my own product and I've never, definitely never used their fulfillment center. So that's going to be a whole learning process. And part of that process I've already learned is that I needed an ISBN to sell this thing on Amazon. So uh, for the first time I got an ISBN and that was uh, a little bit of money, but I did it just to have this book be legit and official and be able to sell it on Amazon. A big reason I wanted to print my own book was that I could pick out my own paper because I definitely want thick, nice paper to draw on in this book. I don't want you guys to get a book that you don't want to doodle in and it has really thin paper. Picking a nice paper does increase the cost of printing, but I think in the end it's really worth it. So I'm going to pick some heavy paper for this book, which is my favorite kind of paper to doodle on. And I tested some out on the printer's swatch uh, paper samples. Sending it to print now, but um, I won't have anything for you guys to see in this video, but I will make more updates on my Patreon page, so definitely go follow that if you want to see where this book is at in the printing process, and I will definitely show you guys what it looks like when I get samples. I am so excited. I hope you enjoyed this studio vlog and you found it kind of interesting to watch and thank you for your patience if you're more into my other type of content and if you do like this kind of video let me know and I'll do more kind of studio vlogs because I do kind of enjoy them. They're a nice little break from the usual kind of content and you guys get a little uh, look inside what's going on in my studio. Big thank you for uh, to all my patrons, thank you so much for your support. And I really do appreciate your support on this doodle book, just your support in general. So thank you. And if you are interested in becoming a patron of Sea Lemon, I will put the link down below and also somewhere around here. You can click on that, learn more information. And again, make sure you are subscribed. And I will put all of these links down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.